Hi, welcome to automation testing that in, in this video, we will see introduction to WinApp driver. So what is WinApp driver? So before jumping into the topic, first we'll see what is the agenda for this video. So agenda here is the first point what we'll see is what is WinApp driver? Okay. And the second point is prerequisites. Prerequisites to work with WinApp driver. Okay. And the third point we'll discuss is how to launch. Okay. How to launch the desktop application. Okay. And the fourth point is how to inspect elements on desktop applications. So this is the agenda for this video. So what is WinApp driver? Prerequisites to work with WinApp driver. How to launch desktop application and how to inspect elements on desktop application. So we'll follow one by one. So the first point is, what is WinApp driver? All right. So if you want to know what is WinApp driver, so first follow this URL. So I cannot say this is official website. There is no official website for WinApp driver. This is developed and maintained by Microsoft. You see here, this is a GitHub page. In this GitHub page, I'll provide the link in the description. So this is Microsoft's open source project. Okay. So when you say here, Microsoft open source project. Okay. So when you come here, you'll have, you'll find some in basic information here. So you see that a windows application driver okay so what is windows application driver you see here windows application driver means winamp driver the full form of winamp driver is windows application driver it is a service to support okay when you see this paragraph windows application driver in the brackets you find winamp driver is a service to support Selenium like UI test automation on Windows applications means so most of the people who are watching this video all uh, means already knows what is Selenium web driver. So this is very similar to Selenium web driver, but web driver is to automate web based applications means browser based applications. But what about window based applications? So still some of the people are using window based applications and uh, they want to automate that application. So how you can automate those applications? So most of the people already knows Selenium web driver. So how you find the element, how you write the code, right? So you say initiate, initiate the browser like using driver instance, you said web driver driver is cool new Chrome driver or Firefox driver, and you will say driver dot find element. All right. So very similar way, the very similar way you will use the same kind of syntax in Windows application automation also using WinApp driver. But what is the advantage? So when you already having experience with web driver, then it is very, very easy. One or two steps are extra, but remaining things are very, very similar. Then what is the advantage when you know web driver, you can obviously work with WinApp driver also. So we'll see one by one, but here the simple thing we need to remember is WinApp driver is a service to support Selenium like UI test automation on Windows applications. So this service supports testing universal Windows platform, UWP, comma, Windows forms, means WinForms, Windows Presentation Foundation, means WPF, and classic Windows apps on Windows 10 
species. So this is the pair of graph they have given. So what is Wynab driver? This is Wynab driver definition. Okay. So I'll simply copy this and I'll paste here. So what is Wynab driver? So it is giving me from which location. So I already told you, right? I'll provide the link in the description. So I got this description. In the same way, I'll increase the font. This is the first point. The second point we need to remember is, sorry, So, Win App Driver developed and maintained by Microsoft. Right. It is Microsoft open source project. Okay. These are the two things we need to remember when you talk about Win App Driver. This is a simple definition and this is the uh, who developed and maintaining this open source project. Okay. So now the second point prerequisites. Okay. Prerequisites to work with WinApp driver. Okay. This is the second point we need to discuss. So what are the prerequisites then? So the first point here is Windows 10 OS means you can only work with Windows 10 operating system. You cannot use Windows 8 or Windows 7 or Windows XP, something like that. WinApp driver works only with Windows 10. Okay. And then developer mode should be developer mode should be enabled in the machine, your Windows 10 machine. What is that? Developer mode. So what is developer mode? How to enable this? That we will discuss in a separate video, but you need to remember what are the prerequisites to work with WinApp driver. And uh, third one. So the third one is WinApp driver server should run in the machine. So what is WinApp driver server and from where I will get, so how to start that, that we will discuss as a separate video. But here, what are the prerequisites to work with WinApp driver means you should have Windows 10 operating system and in that same machine, developer mode should be enabled and WinApp driver should, uh, server should run in the machine. Okay. So this is what the prerequisites. Okay. Then the third point, how to launch the desktop application. Okay. So how to launch the desktop application? You have any uh, different ways. Okay. So we have few ways. That one is using applications okay applications exe path what do you mean by that i want to automate notepad i want to automate calculator application in my machine so the calculator and notepad already installed in your machine right so where it is installed it will install somewhere in your c drive so you need to find the path of that exe file that application exe file okay by using that application exe file you can launch the desktop application, okay? And one more way is using AUM ID. So what is AUM ID? How to find that AUM ID? That we will discuss in separate video. But as part of introduction, how to launch the desktop application means using applications exe path or using AUM ID, okay? This is the point how to launch desktop application. And the fourth is 
how to inspect elements on desktop application okay so <clears throat> when you talk about a web driver web driver means browser based automation in that browser if you want to identify any element it might be text box it might be drop down it might be a button or link whatever it is first you need to find that element then only you can interact with that particular element so how you will find that element so in the browser based you can inspect that particular element then you will find the html code behind that web page so by looking into the tags or attributes then you can find that element otherwise means to to do that you have some plugins for the browsers okay one of the famous nowadays is selectors hub okay so by using those kind of tools or plugins you can identify the elements on the browser otherwise if you are familiar with how to write that xpath or elements then you can write your own customized xpaths with your own okay so whatever it is you need to find that element and the same way in the desktop application also you need to find the element to interact so then i cannot right click and i need to inspect and there there is no html code behind that okay so then how can i identify the elements for desktop application okay so to do that we have some tools readily available so some of the things which i'll discuss which are famous and frequently used okay using inspect.exe okay so what is inspect.exe how to get that how to use that that we will discuss in separate video okay and using win app driver recorder so win app driver has given its own recorder so you need to down you need to get that recorder to inspect the elements so you can use this one also otherwise using appium desktop okay so by using appium desktop also you can find the element what is appium appium is very similar to your web driver to automate what mobile applications so win app driver is a combination of you can say web driver means selenium web driver and appium boot you need these two things to work with this win app driver okay so this is the brief introduction about win app driver i said so many things we'll discuss in the next video the reason is the motto of this video is just an introduction okay whatever it which is not clear here we can definitely talk in the next videos so before that we have seen uh, universal windows platform window forms windows presentation foundation and classic windows win32 apps all these things right so what are those so we, we don't need actually but just an idea okay uh, just an idea so i have captured some information from the web so what is uh, what are these kind of applications uh, let me increase the font yeah you see that windows universal platform uwp so the universal windows platform is a computing platform created by microsoft and first introduced in windows 10 okay the purpose of this platform is to help develop universal apps that run on windows 10 windows 10 mobile xbox and hololens without the need to be rewritten for each means the purpose of uwp is to create windows based applications and once you develop that should work with windows 10 operating system windows 10 mobile you have xbox and hololens so it should work in all the platforms that is the reason they introduced this as windows forms so windows forms is a free and open source graphical class library included as part of microsoft dotnet framework 
or mono framework providing a platform to write rich client applications for desktop laptop and tablets okay this is also another way of developing the same kind of applications and the same way remaining to also same thing a windows presentation platform sorry foundation so windows presentation foundation is a free and open source graphical subsystem originally developed by microsoft for rendering user interfaces in windows based applications okay so classic win32 so what is classic win32 win32 is the main set of microsoft windows apis used for developing 32 bit applications okay so similarly everything the motto of all this is to develop windows based applications okay so whatever it may be the desktop application is developed on top of any of these four even though you can use winamp driver to automate those applications okay so this is the brief description about winamp driver okay so that's all in this video i have a small request please subscribe to my channel for further and interesting updates thank you